Welcome to this short tutorial for Sparkle 5. I'm going to talk about scrolling animations and here I've got an open page in Safari and I just want to show you how they can work. So we've got a title and we've got a large hero image on the page and as I scroll the title disappears, the image gets bigger and slowly disappears, the new text comes up and then we have some instruments coming in and fading in. So does the title and so does the text below them. So how does all that work? Let's pop over to Sparkle and take a look. So here's my blank Sparkle page. The only thing I've done to it is I've put a built-in pattern on the page and that's what it looks like so far. Now in order to shorten this tutorial, I already have everything in place and I'm just going to switch it on as I, as I show you what happens, just so we don't have to play around with stylizing and, and things like that. Um, so the first thing we start with is the title. And we'll just show on this device. The title is actually a group, title one and subtitle. But I've applied the animation to the actual group, just so that they work together. Now, what I've done is under the scroll effects, I've chosen animate while scrolling. You can do a one-time animation, but we're, we're not interested in that today. We're just doing animate while scrolling. And I've switched on the opacity. So what happens is if I click on the more information button, you can see here that as the little icon is moving up and down, it disappears where it says opacity effect. In that area, it will start at 27% from the top of the page and by 9% from the top of the page, it will have disappeared. And the opacity I want to set it to disappear to is 0% from 100%. So let's see what that looks like on its own. That the way you move these is by just adjusting these here. If you want the animation to start, the animation to start earlier, then you reduce the page there. So we'll put this back to 27 and let's take a look at the preview. So there it is. And as I scroll up, it fades out to nothing. We'll go back to Sparkle. And the next thing I'll turn on is the hero image, the big picture that sits right behind that. And we'll just turn that on in the arrange menu. And there it is. So the picture is basically a picture and it's stretched to fit in a wide box and set to fill. Now again, I've set the scale and the opacity. So the opacity we know, and I've set it to start fading at 28% um, right from the minute the page starts to move at 0%. And you can see as I scroll up the page, in that area, it starts to disappear. I'll just have a look at it one more time. There you go. And we also want it to grow bigger. So I've set the scale from when it reaches, sorry, from right from the beginning of the page when it starts moving to halfway down the page, I want to set the scale to go to twice as big. So it's going to scale up and fade out at the same time. And let's take a look at that. So you can see it starts scaling immediately and it starts fading immediately. And by the time I'm halfway down the page, we're, we're done. And of course, the nice thing about with animations while scrolling is that they're completely reversible. So as you scroll up, it does the one thing you want. And as you scroll back, it all comes back. Really nice effect. Let's go back to Sparkle. The next thing I'm going to turn on is the, the uh, main body text, uh, which appears as the first two items disappear. And again, we'll just switch that back on. Now, placing this text is trial and error. So for example, if I place it where I think it should go, and then we preview that, so everything starts to happen, but 
we get to a kind of a blank screen with not much happening and then the text. You need that to happen quicker. So let's go back and we'll move the text back up to where it was. Again, I've set the opacity. This time, once the page has reached a third scrolling, the effect will start to take place and it will be complete by two thirds down the page. And we're going from naught opacity to 100% opacity. And you can see that as the little icon comes up the page, we'll start waiting for it to go to that. It's transparent, transparent, and then in that area, it becomes opaque. So let's take a look at that. We go back. And you can see that already the text is coming back in. We've still got a little bit of the background. And then by there, it's complete. So there's not too long a wait and people kind of don't think there's anything wrong with the site. Okay, back to Sparkle. And then the last thing, well, not the last thing, actually, the images of the instruments I'm going to switch on. Oh, and we need to switch the group on as well, of course. So I'm going to leave the text on there, even though the, each text box is different and each image is actually different as well. So I've applied the same effects to each of those. Um, I can show you all at once what's going on here. So let's take the core anglais on the left. And if we hit style button and go down to here, we can see that the uh, instrument moves in from the left hand side of the page and I've got moves into the canvas from the left. You can see those buttons are set there. And again, once the page reaches 30% browse uh, as you scroll, it will start to move in and it will be there by 80%. Now again, these figures are trial and error of where things are on the page. So you just have to go backwards and forwards from the preview until you're happy with each setting. So take it that I've set these settings for each of the instruments. The opacity is the same. Again, take it where it suits it best. So set those figures here where it suits it best. Similar for the horizontal motion. Once we have all that in place, we can start scrolling. The two items disappear. The third item appears. And as it rolls up, the instruments are fading in, scrolling in, as is the text and the title. Really simple to do, and of course it works in reverse, as I said. It's really simple to do, it's elegant. The transitions are ultra smooth. I don't know how Sparkle does that. You can't even do that in video editing programs. They're ultra smooth and they work beautifully. Um, so there you are. That's the scrolling with animations. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.